Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see my Costco haul. I have to admit, I don't even have a Costco membership. I just went with my neighbor, but it was so much fun because of course, YouTube, I watch Costco hauls. So it was really fun seeing things and like recognizing things. And now I think I'm hooked and I'm gonna need a membership. So I will show you guys what I got. Oh, I spent $230, so I got a table full of stuff, but it wasn't crazy, it was $230. We'll see if it's worth it. This is the overview of my table. So it is full on all four sides, so I will take you guys around and show you what we got. Everybody raves about Costco's rotisserie chicken, so I had to try it, had to, couldn't pass it up. It's a good price, $5, I couldn't believe that. I actually got these seasoned ribs for my husband to grill out and they were a really good price. They were $20 already seasoned and they actually had a three rack of ribs for $20 as well that you needed to season, the Smithfield brand, but I would just splurge and got these. Uh, as far as fruit went, I grabbed a pineapple for a Memorial Day barbecue we were having. I got some pears and they were $5.99. I uh, went ahead and grabbed all these strawberries, and these were $2.99. Can you believe these? I probably should have got two packs, actually. I uh, went ahead and grabbed these uh, organic hummus. I have never tried this before, but I thought maybe I would like the individual cups, um, just because I wasn't sure. You can't pass up the price of butter at Costco, that's for sure. And so this was uh, $10, $9.95, I think, for four pounds of butter, which is awesome. These are actually the hot dogs that are the Kirkland brand. These are the ones that you get um, when you eat at that little cafeteria, I guess, or little food place they have there. And so I was excited to get those, but they were out of the buns sadly enough. Went ahead and grabbed some asparagus because we are having a Memorial Day cookout and so I wanted to get some vegetables to grill. Could not pass up this Himalayan salt. It was, I wanna say three, not even four dollars, maybe 386 and people are raving about this so I wanted to try it. This was a great deal. My neighbor told me about this. This feta cheese, it's 24 ounces and it's seven, or actually four, not even $5. And when you buy it in the store, you almost pay that much for a little baby thing. So this was great for salads and I actually have a couple recipes I use it in. Uh, since I told you guys we we're having a barbecue, I got some patties. I got. Um, just the Kirkland brand uh, 24 patties, they were $17.99. And these uh, buns, there's 24 of them, and they were actually on sale as well for only, I think, $2.99. So that was an amazing deal right here. Went ahead and got the organic whole milk. We'll see if we like it. I usually buy the Horizons, or um, I wanna say it's Nature something, and um, this had three in it for ten dollars and I usually buy two half gallons for ten dollars at the regular store. I see these hauled on YouTube all the time so I had to try them and tortellini is one of my husband's faves so this will definitely feed us for two meals and it was ten dollars. These I've seen hauled um, they just looked amazing. So they were kind of my splurge and they were about $10. I always hear people talk, rave and rave about this chicken salad so I wanted to try it and I like chicken salad with cranberries so I'm hoping that I will like this. There are eight singles and I just thought they'd be really good for lunches. This was a little more expensive than I would have liked. I want to say it was like almost $11, $10.99 but I really wanted to try it. I'll show you guys the rest of my food before I get to the snacks. I actually got this thing of squash and there's zucchini and summer squash in there and I thought this was a really good deal. I will, not 100% sure of what the price is, but I will let you all know. And um, our friends last year loved the fact that we grilled vegetables on the grill um, during 4th of July. So I wanted to do it again. 
and I think I showed you guys these pairs. I want to say they were $5.99 and I thought that was a really good price. There seemed to be a lot in there because when I was carrying it, it seemed heavy and I love pears. I got two salad kits and I'm hoping that this will be good for me for lunches for a little bit. I got this Asian chopped salad and I usually like this in the grocery store and I've seen people haul this so I'm hoping that it's good. I also got a Caesar salad kit and I kind of got this in case I needed another side item for my cookout or something like that. If not, I'm going to eat it no problem and my son loves Caesar salad so I, this would not go to waste. These both were about $5. I want to say one was a little bit cheaper than the other but I'll pop the um, prices up on the screen. This was my find of the day. Um, it is a cord free serving electric kettle and I love tea but I hate boiling the water and doing all that stuff. So this was $20. I was so excited. It was the first thing I put in my cart and I was like, okay, I have to have this. So splurge for me. I thought this was such a cute baby gift. It was $8.97 and it's this little fluffy dog that is so soft and a little blanket that comes with it. We actually have friends who are adopting a child and I thought this would be such a good gift to give them and along with maybe some diapers or other things like that but um I thought this was really good price point and you you can't have too many blankets with babies so on to the snacks and this is what I actually really wanted to go to Costco for because I only have one child my snacks do last a little bit longer they usually last a couple months when I buy them in bulk like this so I wanted to try them I got these um, Welch's fruit snacks, and I'll let you guys know how much these were. I want to say they were around $10. I'm not 100% sure. Everyone talks about this pirate booty, and I thought this sounded really good. There was another popcorn that I really wanted to try too, but I had to kind of restrain myself from picking up everything. Uh, my son loves these peanut butter crackers and does not like the cheese, only likes the peanut butter. But this is an amazing deal. It's um, like $5.86, I want to say, for 40 of them. So that's wonderful. And for the summers, that's going to be great. We can just grab and go um, any of these snacks. And I have seen these granola bars hauled many times. And I always wanted to try them. Everybody has good things to say about them. They're the Soft and Chewy, the Kirkland brand. They're really comparable to the Quaker. And I just wanted to see if my son would like it because I know he loves granola bars. And then my neighbor just brought me some homemade empanadas. So that makes everything awesome. So a little overview of my Costco haul. I actually got two cases of water as well. They were 40 packs and I want to say they were under $3. I want to say they were $2.86. Um, if that's wrong, I'll let you guys know. But I thought I could not pass that up for a little over $5 for 80 bottles of water, especially with the Memorial Day holiday coming and into the summer, like that is gonna be wonderful for us. So this is my Costco haul. Let me know if you guys have any favorites at Costco. There was some stuff that I really wanted to try that I didn't see there. And um, let me know if there's something that I should try or something that I should pick up next time and try. And I will see you guys in the next brand new video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. And I create content and get it out as fast as I can make it. So I will see you guys again. Bye.